Well, hello there, Washington1806. Why is the stream not uh, capturing Crusader Kings? Uh, we're still loading, but yes, it is vampire time. Uh, but yeah, rap. The lore, uh, something something vampires, something something uh, hidden okay. from society, uh, something something masquerade. That's about what I know. The, the, the idea is that the like the provinces on the map in this game are like theoretically from a human's perspective they're ruled by humans like similar to our timeline is that correct this is correct what you are looking at when you look at the map is europe and uh, asia and the various land masses by night these are the hidden rulers behind the mortals, perhaps directly controlling the mortals, perhaps not, but still engaged in chicanery that is of a level beyond that which a mortal can attain. Makes sense. And since I haven't already, hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Wednesdays now with 100% more vampires. Everyone introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Clayborn, Twitch TV. Slash Claiborne. And hey, it's Rap. Just Rap. And also Grimbolio's here. I'm, I'm here. I'm not playing, but I'm here. Uh, yep. Chickened out at the last minute. <laughs> I'm playing CK2. Fair. Fair enough. Vampire Jihad. Funny you should mention it, Washington1806. Uh... I Loading up this mod actually reminded me of a show that I saw mentioned somewhere. Apparently there's a show in the UK called Count Abdullah. Uh, about a, a doctor that gets bitten by a vampire that uh, only hunts uh, uh, halal. I guess that means just sucks the blood of Muslim people. I have no idea. I... Wouldn't oh my... that be like you have to like give your humans like a specifically merciful death? Let like it's mostly just like how you how you kill an animal that makes it halal. It, it, it is a British it, it is a British TV show. So oh, okay, not... this could be horribly racist. I, exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. The blurb. All I'm getting from the blurb is uh, Count Abdullah is a. British horror comedy television series. It's about a British Pakistani doctor who becomes a vampire. Uh, he's bitten by a vampire, his transformation, yada yada yada. Uh, it was the IMD. Uh, by a hal uh, bitten by a halal hunting vampire. That's that, there's it is. It's the it's the the IMDb blurb. So, I, I, I don't know, is the way he hunts Halal, the, or does it mean that he only hunts people who keep Halal? Uh, I, I don't know. Apparently the no vampire... Idea. Yeah, apparently the vampire who, who bites him is named Winston. Uh, so... I'm not sure that that's... I'm not sure why a, a guy named Winston... Uh, is it would be a halal hunting vampire i have no knowledge of this show other than the wikipedia and imdb page well then how about that good night uh, yeah. one pleasure as always have a good night pleasure oh no apparently winston is the oh no winston is the name of the actor the actress okay so didn't the, the vampire's name is Kathy. Again, also an extremely Muslim name. You are just a scholar on this show, aren't you? I'm um, just like it, it, it showed up. I saw a show named Count Abdullah, and I had to know more. And and now that we, and when we booted this up, uh, I was immediately reminded of that thing. Well, hey, news to me. <clears throat> so vampire 
Bears cannot have children and also can use hostile schemes against their own children. So how does that work? Well, when you when a vampire has a child, it is a C H I L D E child. They choose a mortal to embrace into the night. And to embrace a mortal, you first drain them of blood by whatever means, killing them, and then uh, introduce some of your own blood into their system, whereupon the transformation takes place. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's they're, they're treated as like your offspring in a CK3 sort of mechanic. Yeah. And uh, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, power decreases with each generation, right? Yeah, each successive generation grows further from Cain, and therefore grows less powerful. The co blood concentrates power less in various forms and ways. So, what we would have to ask ourselves is, where are we going to be playing? What's our arena time? Uh, I was um, looking at Polish family. <laughs> ah, Polish I'm vampire. also looking at the Giovanni family. I feel like that could be fun. It looks okay. cool. Um, yeah. So are we looking at Northern Central Europe then? I think that's probably where the makers of the mod mostly uh, want you to play. Just looking at all the crazy religions, like how many religions and um, all that stuff they, there are. Um, I think, like, I'm clicking on the other places in the world. I mean, it looks like the whole world is ruled by vampires. I thought there was, like, werewolves and stuff in this, too. There, There's another campaign mode that you apparently didn't select, which includes all such things in the playing field. And we can go back and load that up if you want to. This is just a purely vampiric one. Right, interesting. Sorry. Well, um... Uh... That's up to you guys. I'm guessing probably not reload, but what do you think, I'm though? Good with either. I, I mean, I, since we since we have the the flavor pack and everything, might be might be best to experience all of the things in the mod, no? Yeah, fair enough. All right, let's do it. Um, so I'm gonna click exit the main menu. I'm not gonna bother exiting the desktop because no need. Uh, I meant right. keep uh, the custom campaign, but sure. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought. Well, wait a minute. I was I hosted it with just the vampires, so you were saying you wanted to um to experience everything, right? Uh, I, I'm confused. What 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 are we? I, okay, I thought so hang I on. thought there, I thought you 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 were saying there there's a <laughs> there are two campaigns, one with the historical map and one with the vampires map. There's oh. it's the same map, uh, but it's like it includes all the well. There's different times and there's different date maps, and then they are there. It's mainly like the setting is mainly focused around vampires, but later on more supplements were added to add different supernatural beings, and there is another map that is around the same time where it adds different other supernatural beings to the map that you could also be aside from the vampires. But there's the one map that's like just the vampires, and there's the other map as vampires plus other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More um, things, more things, more better, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, at the point where I where I canceled out, we might as well go ahead and pick the more things. Um, yes. So Clay, how do we um how do we get this? Uh, I see a bunch of start dates and like none of them have a description. So. Um. Shit. Let me look. Let me click new game single player. So that it's the tabs at the top. You're gonna want to oh, pick. Okay. Uh, so can you tell me the date of the tab though? Uh. The date of the tab is going to be twelve thirty, I believe. But well, I've got I've got three different twelve thirties, and one of the twelve thirty was the one that we just picked, the fourth of January. There's also the fifth and seventh of January, and I don't know which one is going to be the right one here. Uh, look for the fifth of January one. I believe that has the most different things in it. Okay. Hunters right. and hunted. Hosting again. Here we go. So in this one, you can have the option to even be vampire hunters, like humans that would like reproduce and play as a little bit closer to vanilla. But... Right, okay. <laughs> also, but of course, Washington. you're going to be playing uh, uphill. Also, also, Washington, you can suck your way up the chain if you catch a stronger vampire. That sounds like the definition of quid pro quo sexual harassment. Well, there's a lot of really <laughs> odd sexual, uh, you know, you know comparisons that could be made to vampiric lore. Sucking your way to the top sounds like uh, <laughs> the definition. 
<laughs> okay, so I I um I posted the new host, and yes, now I see werewolves and other things like that. An employment mm. lawyer would have the a field day with that. Oh damn! There's there's ancient Egyptian vampires. Holy hell! There's mummies as well. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, if there's you suck demons. hard enough, it goes all the way up to Cain. I mean, did, have we established that the the first murder was not caused, in fact, by blue balls? Hmm. It was, in fact, caused by God. I know we've talked a lot about Mormonism uh, in these sessions, but have we talked about Mormon Bigfoot? Oh my god. <laughs> no. It's, it's more well known these days, but in Mormonism, uh, Bigfoot is Cain. Really? Because he didn't oh, wear yeah. the special underwear, of course. Oh. Fascinating. In, in Mormonism, it was, was the Garden of Eden like in Missouri or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, Idaho? <laughs> Which yeah, so, Nav somewhere there about. Where the fuck Nauvoo is? I think Nauvoo's like right on the border of Idaho. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I have heard uh, of that. Doesn't so fuck, then I think Bigfoot fuck... just like fucked off from there and he's immortal, I guess? Yeah, pretty well. Or like he, it, I think it depends like on the Mormon because my uncle is a personal believer that like Bigfoots are like the descendants of Cain. Mm -hmm. So like there's there's some uh, as opposed to, to the other Mormon theory of what the descendants of Cain are. Yeah. Uh, they, I think, well, if we're talking black people, there's also the uh, black people are descended from angels that didn't pick a side in the heavenly war between Jesus and Satan. Uh, okay, so so then that puts Bigfoot above him. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Fascinating uh, lore there. Look, all I'm saying is, in another life, Joseph Smith could have been one of the greatest sci-fi authors of all time. Yeah, yeah, he sh should have should have really gone the 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 Elron Hubbard way. Mm. Well, Orson Scott Card is just saying. I mean, he's not one of the greatest sci-fi writers of all time, but he is a famous sci-fi writer at least. True. Uh, we we've all we've all dabbled with a bit of Heinlein. It's fine. Don't read Stranger on a Strange Land. It gets weird. I think that's the one you should read. Like, don't read Spaceship Troopers. Read his like crazier one. <laughs> no, I, I, I bought uh, I, I bought a copy of Starship Troopers before I learned that uh, the the book was not a parody. <laughs> I have not read it yet. It's it's in the pile. Huh. Ooh. Yes, exactly, Washington. Black people are now allowed into heaven. Uh, black people can now own their own planet, according to the Mormon Church. Well, in the seventies, the bigger thing was that, uh, like, you couldn't be a priest in Mormonism. That's the thing black people weren't allowed to be. Uh, that changed in the seventies. Well, yeah, wasn't it the thing that. that God told the president of the church directly? Uh, black people are fine now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It might have always been the case, but uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, he took it. Took it until the seventies to tell them to tell him. Look, got to think about some stuff. Yeah, it's had a lot on his plate. Ah, uh, now I'm being uh, considering being a uh, earthbound demon of gluttony. Ooh. Where's that at? Uh, next to Pomerania, the uh, the Great Swarm. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, there's so many damn um, uh, places that I feel like I'm just gonna pick something next to you just for, you know, just so I have neighbors. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> like, Fair. I mean, if I had played this mod a few times, I'm sure it would um probably um have some favorite playthroughs and like things that I want to do. But I don't know, so much stuff. I don't usually play demons. I'm usually usually when I play this game, I just go play as Dracula because Dracula is amazing and fun. But this time, Earthbound Demon sounds appealing, especially with a name like Master of Toads. I'm looking forward to reading this lore entry when we get in game. I don't remember Curious, the demon fall a lot. 
Dracula's in a different date, the fifteen, uh, the fifteen hundred date, when the birth of the sects of the the birth of the Sabbat and the Camarilla sects is happening. That's uh, that's a few couple. That's a few hundred years from now. I was kind of interested in playing um, the Jewish vampires in Bohemia. Um, so, are you thinking anywhere around this area? Because it'd be further away. I might go in between you guys. Pope poses the question, is human blood kosher? That's kind of the similar the question about halal blood. Is, yeah. Yeah. Pope, you should, um, you should share out so that people can see uh, your, your characters. Oh, yeah, I forgot, <laughs> forgot yeah. to take off the technical difficulty of the screen. Thank you. Uh, if there was a Dracula, I'd probably create a Belmont clan. Oh, if you want something like that, you want, uh, I think, House Von Murnau, which is the purple one uh, below the Thieves of the Black Cross. They are an Inquisition uh, group of uh, humans, a uh, hunter clan, and they have uh, their their line has inborn uh, blood powers that express themselves when they uh, breed true, that allow them to help hunt the supernatural things of the world. And if you, uh, if you want to play them, I can always go Mazovia, so I'm a little farther away from you. Inbred Vampire Hunters. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. There's also the Red Order in Italy, like northwestern-ish uh, Italy. Um, let's see here. There's also... Oh, uh, if you want to play, like, basically a stand-in for... Um, uh, what's his name from Dracula-ish... What was his name? It's right near House von Murnau. Oh, yeah, yeah, Below House von Murnau, the single county in the middle of uh, House Tremere's, like, left side. Ka Count Karl Schrecht, the vampire killer of Brixen. He's an independent, not Inquisition-aligned vampire hunter, so... You know, he may go brief and painfully, but you can always pick another character later if that goes bad. <laughs> So, Clay, uh, do you want me to play farther away from you? Because I know I started kind of close to you last time. Oh, I don't care. There's ways okay. to do stuff if you don't want people to fuck with you in this game that you will discover in time. Sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you know a lot more about this mod than me anyways. Yeah, um, I won't. I'll let you grow. Oh, yeah, no no worries. Um, the, the, only, the thing I really like about Mazovia is that he is both Jewish and Polish, so I get to experience both. Indeed. Ah, Van Helsing, yes. Thank you, Washington. And hello, Ulanic. It's going well. About to show my peoples the world of darkness. I love this setting, even though it's kind of outdated and, uh, you know, bigoted in certain ways. But it does have some gems that are uh, worth looking at, I'd say. Anyhow, you were saying? Vampires with fey blood. That's a recipe for fuckery. Yes. I'm picking this guy. He looks fun. The Ashen Rabbi. Ooh, an Ashen Rabbi. That sounds like an interesting run. Okay, where the fuck is the Great Swarm? Where the fuck are you? We're pretty um, close together. We're, um, both in... Germany. Yeah. Okay, see ya. It's over here in the in the Belgiums. That was another option I was considering because I thought that Dutch vampires would be just about as cursed as Polish vampires, if not more so. I'm not going to attempt doing a Polish act, uh, Polish um, a Dutch accent. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know the European accent super well. I mean. The, the, if, the, someone the, had a, an, if someone has an English accent, I would or sorry, if someone has a um, accent when they speak English, a lot of times I can tell, but I definitely can't mimic it. I don't know what kind of accent a demon from before time would have, so I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, the thing about Dutch is you have to talk with a very big lisp. Right, that's true. Uh, yes, Washington, uh, the Netherlands are not real. 
Especially, especially if you're a certain country and it's a certain court, uh, or, or, or a couple certain courts located in the Netherlands, then that's definitely not real. So apparently, uh, my character is a demon bound of the uh, Rabisu. They're the devourers. Uh, link included here if you want to read about their particular house uh, of demons. And uh, yeah. Damn, you can't be tortured, imprisoned, executed, or physically hurt without some specific powers. You're too powerful for all that mess. You're supernatural. Yeah, right. Oh. Just looking at the clans. I mean, I could go with the meme and go for Malkavian. The fish malk? Oh yes, the trait crazy. Is is he actually is the guy actually cra crazy? Ah. They they, they they didn't go for making the Malka this Malkavian character uh what's the what's the one that's crazy eccentric? <clears throat> There's other traits that they develop uh that are not necessarily expressions of let's say mental illness. They could just be traits that are taken to extremes. I'm thinking about Vampire Viking. That could be fun. Yeah, that would be a good combo. I, I didn't even look at those. I mean, could go Nosferatu for the Max Ugly. True. Where's, oh. I said, uh, where is he? But uh, then <laughs> I clicked on the, count, the place in question, I think. Mmm. The Divinists. Via Divinitatis. Incidentally, those religions that you're looking at, those are known as roads uh, for vampires. I forget what they're known as for their uh, of the age equivalent in other supernatural groups, but they basically are like your ideology, and in specifically for vampires, they're like the road that you follow to keep you from falling to the beast that wants you to just become a slavering monster that only cares about drinking blood. You, you use these like moral structures that are perhaps still in line with human moral structures and perhaps not at all anymore, but at the end of the day, as long as you stick to them and regiment your mind around them, you prevent yourself from uh, going berserk into a frenzy and just destroying everything and wrecking your chances of survival thereby. My question is, why are Setites in Sweden and Norway? It's a bit far from Egypt. <laughs> I mean, these clans have gone back since, like, before humans were able to write and read, so, you know. True. It's called fun. <laughs> and let me tell you, even in this setting, the Setites have a concerted interest in their advancing their, uh, their paths of tenants. For a first timer, though, yeah, some kind of vampire might be the move. Yes, I think I've located the the, the zone I want. I think I will go character creator. Okay. Clay, explain the faiths to me. The faiths. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> there's lots of them to start. Uh, Okay, what would be best for a Viking vampire? Um, shit. Uh, what's it called again? Road of the Beast might have an offshoot for that. Um, just want to check under that. Uh, I'm here, Yar. It That's does. The one. Yes. Excellent. Mm-hmm. 
a good what's a good Norse vampire name? <clears throat> Sheet, I don't know. I didn't know normal Norse name because normal people are the type of people that are just turned into vampires, you know? Or perhaps you abandon your, the name of your origin completely and choose a new moniker for yourself as you're born into unlife. Perhaps your old connections would be a burden to you that would endanger yourself or others. Exactly. What size? Let's Google Translate. Please tell me what size Slendic for Bloodsucker. Are you playing in Iceland? Uh, no, close enough. Uh, top of Norway and Sweden. But Icelandic is the closest to to an Old Norse language uh, of all of them. Makes sense. It actually, I, 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 it was a joke, but it actually sounds cool. What is it? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce those letters, but it's some something along the lines of Bloodsuga. Sense. Actually, I'm gonna make that my dynasty name. Sure. Sure. I don't know. I don't know how the the D is pronounced, but the O is like a. Well, maybe I don't know it after all. Fuck it. I don't know shit. Let's admit it. I think that's that that weird D is pronounced kind of like a D. Mm. That one was pronounced like a th sound. Yes, Astrid Bloodsuger. I like how it makes you pick a splat trait before proceeding. Like, no, you can't play a normal human, you silly goose. <laughs> And it starts from scratch. Go. Pretty standard. The flat traits are the um, the like type of creature we are. Indeed. Gotcha. And the normal the normal humans just have hunter. Yes. Makes sense. Or mortal, actually. There's a specific mortal trait you could take. But that's like part of the mechanic. Hunter is a crime to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it should be. I mean, I th I'm thinking like, like just a red blood drop on a on a black uh, banner would be a pretty cool. Uh, Norse Viking vampire uh, thing. You'd be sure. afraid of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, why not? I mean, I'm Svabian. Svabian. Okay, splat. Green vampire, right? I think so. I saw two face, so I was looking for half a vampire or stuff like oh, that, sure. but no. You are right, Clay? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I said, ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh ah. -huh. I'm too stoned uh, to remember that I have the amass wealth ambition in CK2. So I keep spending money, even though I have a massive fucking debt I need to repay. Because, oh my god, after the end for CK2. You get such big debts when you're a kingdom, because they, like, change how that works, and you have to pay it back. You just can't, like, unlike C regular vanilla CK2, where you can just, like, not pay bankers back yeah. forever. Uh, in the CK2 mod, eventually you gotta pay them back, or else you get debuffs. Makes Indeed. sense. And I took a big loan. I'm gonna, a big gonna actually go uh, Kai Tief and make, make her story, like, she's a she was turned into a vampire, and now she's making it everyone else's problem. <laughs> right on. 
One of my favorite characters that I ever played was a low-gen caitiff. He ended up getting all kinds of weird mysterious powers, because that's what caitiffs do when they get down there. Is that, um, are you, you mean, um, as part of playing the role-playing game, right? Yes, as part of playing the tabletop role-playing game. I'll uh, we... if there's mechanics for that in this game, I don't know. We gotta arrange a... We gotta arrange a session. On Sundays or something. Yeah. That'd be a great time. I got room for another game in my life. I, mean, I think an animalism is a uh, fits with the with the 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 vibe we're going for. Mm -hmm. What else? Yeah, I don't have an RPG group at the moment, so I'd be happy to play anything, basically. I need to get, uh, yeah, I need to get experience uh, for to so that we can organize a, a Magnus Archives run when the the RPG finally releases. Yeah, it makes sense. Blood sorcery seems pretty obvious. Blood sorcery is freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Polarity is also pretty self explanatory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, damn. My guy's got a lot of fucking um, disciplines and all that stuff. So, what does all that stuff do? Does that, like, control your powers? Yes, indeed. Your disciplines uh, demonstrate what uh, capabilities your vampire has. And uh, usually the storyline characters that are available on the uh, map here are... Uh, some of them are particularly choice as far as the power levels go, you know? Sure, sure. But, what? you know, there's always a bigger fish. The head of my house is some rando that lives in Tunis. <laughs> so, I guess he's my grandfather, technically. Um, my mother is my player heir. So, I guess that means I'm going to have to kill them both if I ever want to become a house head. The murder schemes are already forming. You are seeing how things are played. I mean, because they're never going to die, right? By themselves. There are so many traits. Indeed. Oh, I have the truth faith, the faith uh, trait, which means I can hurt demons. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey, um, if you play a default character, you can click a button that says character lore, and it tells you, um, it pops up with the thing. It does. That's fun. I'm looking forward to reading mine aloud. Frog time! Yes, indeed. Welcome on in, Washington. 1806. Always a pleasure to have the first time. Welcome on in. Yes. The, the frog, it shall swarm. That's gonna get weird. My uh, lore references the bombing of Warsaw in 1939. Mm, mm. Is there a modern day setting of this that's very common for people to play? That is, to, to most minds, the default setting. Like, okay. cusp, cusp of the millennia, everything's about to end uh, the sort of apocalyptic vampire game set in the modern era. Wait, what is a blood bond? Ah, for sure, for sure. What is a blood bond, Clay? A blood bond is uh, when you f when a vampire feeds uh, another creature, uh, you no, know, depending on the creature, 
uh, more, mostly mortals, uh, successive blood over three nights, three tastes of blood. Eventually, the mortal or other creature becomes enchanted by this uh, individual to the point where they obsess and uh, become slavishly devoted to this individual. It's like a form of uh, emotional slavery by, uh, that one can uh, be afflicted by the blood bond is. However, mortals do get uh, some gains out of it. Those mortals that are subjected to the blood bond long enough become eventually become ghouls and have uh, different supernatural powers, uh, faint echoes of vampiric power, but supernatural power nonetheless. And uh, ghouls that breed true over successive generations can even create revenant families, which are immortals with, which are born with a certain amount of vampiric blood permanently inside their bodies. And which, of course, uh, you know, that has its, you know, consequences. I'm assuming vampires cannot be blood bonded. They can be blood bonded. Some okay. of them are unbondable, which is uh, considered a uh, thing to be either controlled or eliminated from vampiric society. If anyone were to learn about that vampire's uh, inability to be subjected to such things. Okay, that 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 was what I was looking for. I was trying to get what the unbondable thing was because it it fits my character. Hmm. Yes, yes. Unbondable is a good protagonist trait. It's especially useful as a piece of fuckery if you're uh, within the House of Tremere, as they're uh, one of their inherent flaws in uh, being part of the House of Tremere vampires is that you're blood bonded at least one step to uh, your sire. As your as oh, and also to the inner circle of uh, vampires that uh, control the clan. So unbondable means unbondable as a as a Tremere usually means you're getting erased. Okay, I need a negative trait. So that I can fit a uh, a martial trait. Hmm. I, I want my I want my vampire rest to be a a great leader of men. Here's a piece of advice: if ever your character gains uh, the flesh crafting power, uh, or you can uh, start with uh, various physical. Uh, maladies uh, that are like um, form related such as hunchback or whatever you could eventually fix those if you flesh craft and bone craft yourself to be different interesting yes but a there is a feature but i just Actually. found a cheat i can be flagellant and that takes minus 10 points and flagellant That's... is actually good because <laughs> it relieves stress <laughs> That's true. That... there's no downside of the vampire there is a downside as a vampire, I'm sorry to say. I think I think that uh, flagellant is bugged, or it's directly related to this fact that uh, if you use a blood healing, your inherent ability to heal using your blood as a vampire while you're a flagellant, you will gain a phenomenal amount of stress, even if you did not inflict the wound on yourself. If you use blood healing at all, your mind snaps with the amount of stress that you take. Damn it. So you're gonna want a like a court. I, I was gonna be an inf I, I was gonna be an infernalist, but that's plus fifty percent stress, and I do not need that. <laughs> mm. You would have a higher opinion of me. <laughs> I do not want to let go of yet. any of the traits that I have. Mm. Ah, and welcome back from the Bezos brainwashing session there. Thank you very much for sitting through the commercials. Appreciate you. Watching Timmy said he moved streams because I'm way louder on this one. Huh. Yeah, I was, I've been fine-tuning your volume to try to make it hit okay. Oh, uh, am I quiet in general? Not after I fine-tuned it. it okay, <laughs> is, dr is Drunkard bugged? Well, the thing about Drunkard in the tabletop is that you would have the addiction flaw, which means that uh, you would have to 
uh, out of obligation and drink only the blood of the intoxicated, like those who have drank alcohol or whatever your intoxicant of choice is, which is kind of ass, but, uh, you know, they lightened it up in future editions a little bit, at least. Meant in the mod. <laughs> I don't remember in the mod. That's just, uh, you know, maybe you can imagine from how it is in the tabletop. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna risk, uh, and I'm gonna risk taking. I'm gonna risk taking flagellant because there's literally no other trait that fits my build. Good luck. Maybe they fixed the bug. Who knows? And I think I'm gonna make her a reckless commander. Wow. He has very low prowess, unfortunately. But I am finally done! Ho hooray! Well, you're gonna have prowess modifiers once all your disciplines and the supernatural traits hit. I'm gonna make her gay. I'm g um, my backstory... Mm, no, bisexual. She, she wants... Uh, gay or bisexual? She wants revenge on everyone because she was made a vampire. Or maybe, uh, no, let's not uh, tie that to her sexuality. That seems demeaning. Well, who says you had to? They could be two unrelated things that you just dated. Indeed. Uh, sure. 400 points exactly. I'm good. Right on. Well, okay. after me making you wait all this time, we're good to go. Hell Let's yeah. Let's do it. I just clicked start so we can st I can start clicking around. Also, apparently Washington is saying on your chat that it's quiet on my stream. What exactly is quiet? Me, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> First of all, thank you for playing. Well, thank you for having us, Princess of Darkness. Let's boost Rob's volume. I need to brush up on the mechanics right quick. Okay. Uh, eh? uh, lots of reading. Yeah. Yes. Yep, I'm a demon. Cast out of... I'm a demon. Cast out of heaven, etc. And now we are here to spite God. Oh, I'm good. Let's go. Wipe my supernatural traits? No, I spent a lot of time <laughs> on that shit. Back to the beginning. I'm good, let's go. Yep. Good. Now then, oh, we get to wow, read our... Oh, wow, goddamn, I have access to... 11 lifestyles? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, time for a little bit of backstory about Overlord Orobas, the master of toads of the Great Swarm, a thousands-year-old demon. Summoned millennia ago and bound into a statue of wet, slimy sandstone, Orobus cult was destroyed and his reliquary lost. It was around the 1210s that a too inquisitive Valdenesian scholar, after reading ancient church documents about an abhorrent sect, discovered the demon's reliquary buried in a German bog. His subsequent descent into madness was the trickle of warped faith the demon needed to return to a natural life once more. Classified as a demon of gluttony, Orobas focuses on physical pleasures, but his purview also contains small animals, poison, bodily wastes, and hungers. His cult, the Luciferians, hid amongst the villages and towns of Germany. The cult preaches nothing more than complex than the supremacy of the flesh and its right, and the right of its members to indulge every gross and sickening desire. It started as a group of Valdonesians, a heretical Christian movement similar to the Cathars of France, but Orobas's influence dragged them into degeneracy and madness over the course of two decades. 
Orobus intends to use them to draw the Inquisition to him, letting them be wiped out for the chance to corrupt some Inquisitors and carry his influence into the church. Mmm. Sensual. Satanism. Satan. Yes. Yes. Hellfire. Beautiful. Rob, what about you? Um, my guy is, uh, let's see. Um, he was the only son of a Jewish rabbi. Um, and his father died. Uh, there was a prostitute <laughs> at his funeral. And he found out that that prostitute was a vampire who turned him. Hmm. That's it? Oh, no. Actually, there's a huge bit. Oh, okay. So I actually trace my... Everybody traces their actual lineage all the way back to Cain. That's cool. Hmm. Like, if you just click back in your family tree, you can see all the way back. Indeed. Apparently, your, uh, your character is one of the most moral vampires to have ever existed. Nice. I should corrupt you. I could. Jesus. My dy my dynasty tree does not go back to Cain. Oh, because you fits. you made a custom character. No, it fits my it, it fits my um, my character. She doesn't know who turned her. She uh. was turned her against her will and is angry about it, and wants to make it everyone else's problem. <laughs> yeah, through so Denmark, if possibly. I'm trying to pick my heir. And um, like who I want to vote for? Oh, okay. They're not part of my dynasty. None of them are part of my dynasty. So I would lose the game if I switched to them, right? Um, yeah. But you know, it's that's you could just safely ignore that until you actually sire a child. Right, right. Do inheritable traits matter in in a marriage? Since you can't have kids. No. No. Unless you're playing with mortals, turning them into ghouls and making revenant families, then you can. Breed yourself <laughs> your own Kwisatz Haderach as a vampiric master who is, uh, you know, really getting off on the whole thing the whole time. Should Mortals I make are... a coterie? Uh, oh, damn it. Do my... you travel around often? Should have made my Wait, character gay. My... She, she's, she... my character is unfortunately heterosexual. Oops. Oh, yeah, what was that, Rob? Um, it, it, I have an option to found a coterie. It, do, it doesn't really say what it does. A coterie is, uh, think of an adventuring party, but for vampires, yeah? Oh, okay, so is that like um, part of the RPG, kind of? Yes. Makes that's sense. What, that's what the players would be in, and the storyteller would be telling them about, is their coterie. Yes, I, I named I, I I named mine Revenge Seekers in Icelandic. Oh, nice. You just get concubines with a shit ton of prowess, and oh, unfortunately, I can't. I was gonna get all the the highest prowess characters as my concubines, so that I can use them as knights. Yeah, Pope is up there in the in the low dev areas. Mm -hmm. It's cool because I'm smart. Because half of the year it's night all day. Genius. <laughs> I I saw I saw I, I saw the trailer for that horror movie. <laughs> Alright, apparently I need to focus on my arcana to expend things in it. Appa well, fucking... This is nuts. Look at this. Uh, amazing. I should hurt the fire mortal. But yeah, HRE vampires are going to be an issue. It's gonna be an issue. Uh, 
Time to imprison my spy master day one. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can and she won't. She will refuse and I need counties. Okay, so on, on the hunt thing, um, I'm guessing the thing you choose is going to do a, a stats check against the other person on whatever stat I, I pick. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if I pick scoundrels, I'm gonna kind of check my intrigue against the intrigue of the other guys, etc. Sure. Yes. Oh, shit. You got me too, but... How important are court physicians to vampires? Um, they can still randomly roll to heal you, I think. Oh, there's regiments of ghouls and mass-embraced mass vampires. The fuck is a mass-embraced vampire? That's when you abduct a bunch of humans, drain them all of their blood, turn them all into vampires, and briefly indoctrinate them just enough to turn them into soldiers of supernatural power in your cause. Amazing. It only costs prestige. Apparently oh, my right. grandpa is uh, the Hannibal. I'm pretty sure, based on the traits, his name is Hannibal, and he's a vampire, and his culture is Punic, so I feel like Yeah, he's probably Hannibal, D. Hannibal. Right? Mm, probably. Yeah, I think, yeah, my character would not do do that, because that's what, what was done to her. Or, that's too similar to what was done to her. She wouldn't do that. Quite inhumane, isn't it? Of course, all my stirring people suck ass in every way. Well, at least I have snakes. Do I have snakes? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll just have to conquer more stuff. No doubt. Ooh, war servant. When you guys want to unpause, I'm ready whenever. Sure, let me just get this poll on for Avian Extract. Hello there, good evening to you. Nice to see you back. Hunt hey, showdown. Yeah. Apex. Legends. I'll, I've only heard uh, of one of these. Thanks. Yep, yep, that's the end of the piety. I get back seven a month, though, so fuck it. Oh, snaked up. Snaked up all to hell. God damn you all to hell. Oh, fuck. Statue. <clears throat> oh, shit. This is a reliquary. This is my spirit in this. I need to repair this bad boy. Oh, fuck. Oh, the reforge cost is huge, but I can repair it for cheap. Good. Later, mate.
I started a prediction and not a poll. <laughs> I have no idea what's the, what the difference between one and the other is. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> A prediction, yeah. you kind of like make a bet of a certain outcome and you can wage your channel points on it and uh, it'll pay out according to, uh, you know, the weight of the uh, different uh, probabilities uh, yes. of what people think will happen. Yes, that I do remember. And poll's a poll. Yeah, what I'm trying to figure out is where is the button for me to put a poll? Ah, your dashboard. That's where I go. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's where I'm looking for it. Ah, <laughs> ah it's one of those buttons on the right side. The ah. big buttony, but look at buttons. It wasn't on my quick access. It has been fixed. Ah. Manage poll. Create new poll. I can go on a journey to find Hannibal. He's apparently in hiding. Um, yes. And I think if I find him, I can eat him. Or recruit him, possibly. He's not that great. You, he gets better when he wakes up. Uh, oh, I see. Yes, he is. Um, wow, dang. Yeah, that's quite a lot of um. Yes, I will. I will allow democracy by voting with both coins. <laughs> oh. Okay, are you guys ready on pause? Yep, fine with me. And since I've never heard of Hunt Showdown, I'm going to vote Apex, because it's the game where you can get hacked. Good answer, good answer. Pause, first day choices. Yeah, really, I, I don't I have to choose whether my prey is humans or vampires. I guess I should probably choose humans. That's usually the safest bet. I mean, unless you want to, like, find and predate upon specific weak-ass vampires. No defeats and go up a generation. Vampires yeah. hate gallery because it works. It does work, and it also is very gross because cannibalism. Okay, do I want... To, should I stay with unknown, unknown lineage, or should I choose a vampire to take revenge upon? question Let's see memories I wish I was an angel all demons were once angel da, 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 da. no language is fine during the simpler times before the rebellion what was my purpose why well, could become a uh, could become a blood leech Let's shore up our weakness, be an angel of leadership in the before time. And now I remember Genesis. Hmm. Everybody in my court is very bad at martial Why? Let me try to find out here. Oh, it's just a coincidence. I thought that like we had some kind of trait that was making us bad, but nope. Everybody just sucks. <laughs> yes, should, I, should I hunt animals because I was very recently a human, or should I hunt vampires for revenge? Hmm. You're definitely swinging uphill if you're trying to beat on your fellow vampires, as much as true. Yeah, that is the thing. But you do get a free discipline out of it, so mm -hmm. do you want to do you want a power game or not? You actually get a free dis uh, the same discipline from both, and animals actually gives you a, the hunter trait. Oh, but you oh, get blood fuck. potency from vampires. True. But you could just start eating vampires and eventually get to the point where you have to eat them only exclusively because you are at that low generation. So it'll happen to you eventually, whether you want it to or not, if you're trying to power exactly. game it. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think I, I don't think I'm powerful enough to hunt vampires. Let's hunt animals. Good start. 
I didn't even have that option. That must be pretty powerful then. There is an exception, Washington, if uh, you try to eat a vampire that's way more powerful than you, then their ego will simply take over your mind and body and you will be their slave and you will be riding in the backseat from that point on in your own body. Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's a random roll if you uh, feed on a particularly powerful vampire, body and soul. Body and soul, that's the roll. Yeah. Let's be envious and resentful of humanity. We're intriguing, Marshall. Let's just be real shitter. <laughs> I don't think I get a successor as a demon. I think I'm just like one and done, or if I I might have a chance to like possess some other person. Alright, you guys ready to unpause again? Yeah. Oh? Yep. Alright, let's do it. Straight way to hell. Yes, good of a boost. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna put on one speed for right now. There's a lot going on. Yes. Grotesque robots, you couldn't have awoken in a better era. Mortals are hungry and denied their rightful urges by a constraining church. It will be your duty, nay your pleasure, to free them from their chains and let them indulge in each and every dark desire they so regretfully repress. For now, however, you are still weak and might need the help of your favorite pets to consolidate your position. You have always been fond of the vermin crawling all around after the spectacular feasts you are famous for. These small worshippers of gluttony might not give you real power, but there is strength in numbers. What a joyful time we will all have. Mm. Hey there, Mel. Uh, I forgot that I was doing this, like I always do this on Wednesdays. And uh, my brain is sucky, so that's going to be happening later. It's going to be more Valheim. But first, I'm a demon. <laughs> demon time. Demon time. Chivalry. That's probably a very twisted relationship. Court. And an artifact put up. I went an hunting, artifact. but nothing came of it yet. Do you guys want to change back to two speed? Sure. I'll wait till play's done in Royal Court. Yeah, I'm done. Inefficient senses, fuck off. Ah, I can't create. I can't create a, a vampire, so I cannot choose a, a mortal to to teach and become my companion. I can actually make make a, a mortal my child. You would have to embrace them, indeed. to wait. <clears throat> yeah, we cut some of these snake losses here. 
Holy shit, that was a lot of snakes. And all the war servers died. One snake for now. Snake for now. Oh, incidentally, you might not have read it, but uh, don't bother with the default regiments. Only go for the, like the supernatural ones that the game gives you, because otherwise they'll you'll be outclassed. Ah, interesting. There goes my plan to, to have a, an army of Vikings. Well, there's probably a specialist undead Viking unit. I'm guessing. Well. The only thing I can do now is ghouls and mass embraced vampires. And mass embraced vampires goes against my character. Mm. The, the uh, interesting of a man who's currently deleting his man at arms. Well, now I'm only running a loss of 0.3. Oh, never mind. Now I'm banking fat gains. Never mind. Damn it, Clay, I deleted all of mine, and I don't have access to any supernatural ones, unless there's, like, a special button or something. Uh, no, it shouldn't be. I just didn't even think to check first. Uh... I have access to a certain kind of Polish men-at-arms, but that's the only special... Unless Polish people are supernatural in this universe. Well, uh... In that they are exceptionally natural, uh, yes. Oh, look at you. Finno Norse. Finno Norse. Finno Norse. Finno Norse. Alright, whatever. I'm just time to, time to make, uh, make the Polish horsemen. Why the hell not? Well, plus side, we're all deleting our men at arms now. Pope, you want to delete your men at arms? Join the fun? Join the fun, huh? Uh, fine. <laughs> I mean, I, you definitely don't have to on my you behalf. <laughs> I was about to wage war. Well, good luck. After deleting I, your men at arms. I, 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 I'll delete them after I, I counter. I, I get a fucking. another fucking county. Come on. It's a good mm. idea. What them cultists do, though? 5, 29, 15, gross. Oh, they're still better than the animals. <laughs> Frogs and toads were once believed to grow spontaneously out of mud. Thank you, information dispenser. Whatever. Improve the territory as usual, though. I drank someone's blood and he liked it. I didn't realize that was the case. I drink some I blood, drink and he... blood and you I, I am glad that we both like... went to the same exact place. <laughs> uh, yes, um, creating a herd is a good way to farm experience points for your lifestyles. So, herd early, herd often. Okay. Unless you're not into that. Might not be. I did make a herd. Good. Speaking of not into things, welcome back from the Bezos brainwashing session. Appreciate you sitting through that. Alright, I'm just grinding up some resources at this point, trying to get positive piety. Alright, start waiting. So in the lore of this universe, like... What am I raising to go fight? Are those actual peasants? Or um, is it like a group of... I don't know what. Like, what does a war mean, really? 
it means I'm, I'm like pressing my claim on new territory to hunt in, right? Mm, think of it like a gang war. Like you have you have influence over certain mortal resources, which you've you know gone through the effort to get together and equip in various ways through various forms of influence, supernatural often, uh, which you're able to exert. Also, if you look at your city, your little town upgrades that you could do, uh, you could there's different ways that you could like give yourself more power to like lean in different directions. For instance, if you were to take the thugs and rabble improvement for your um, city. Uh, you would uh, spend a bunch of uh, prestige, but gain a bunch of uh, cheap and effective uh, levies to uh, throw Interesting. Huh. Wow, that's a lot of different buildings you can make. This one wants to form an alliance with me. Power behind the throne. Interesting. An easy potential victim. Want an alliance? Yeah. Hello. Point in tempting if there's no success chance. Two-headed cow was born. It's ominous. Hmm. Sign of Gehenna. Naturally. Uh-oh. Ugh. I only have trash mortals. Lead. Because I am, uh... Bound demon. Who are you? That's a Cappadocian over huh. <clears throat> Hello, Andrew1703. Welcome on in. This mod is about the world of darkness, uh, set in the medieval era uh, from the 1200s to uh, 1500s sort of areas where the start dates. Uh, but yeah, uh, the world of darkness being uh, basically an analog of our own world, except uh, all the things that go bump in the night are real, generally speaking. And uh, I am playing as one of them right now, an earthbound demon. Of gluttony. This is my true form. I am here. Dread fear. Self. Bigger. More. Able to satisfy that gluttony. Huzzah. My fellow players are vampires. Here, a Finnish uh, Norse vampire. Down here, a uh, Derekheim uh, uh, vampire. Halloween version, certainly, certainly. So it's based on the uh, popular role-playing setting, uh, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, or the World of Darkness as the broader intellectual property. Good times, good times. Played a lot of that game growing up since high school. Rolling dice on tabletop. Not LARPing. But a good game. Good times. station now. So much faith. Yeah. 
Yeah. At some point, I should choose a mortal to embrace in turn, right? So that I have an heir just in case something goes terribly wrong. Well, maybe. If you okay. spy a mortal that's worth your time, you may well consider it. But events will pop up from time to time that uh, 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 that uh, will show you a particularly uh, in interesting historical figure. And if you'd like Ooh. to, you can make uh, moves to try to get them into your court and do with them what you will. That sounds like the move, then. I'll probably just wait on it. Yes, that is certainly an option. Damn, this battle has come down to 7-1, to one, and we won. Mm, uh, the, uh, the, the, the one, I'm assuming, was like some super elite vampire unit or something, like the actual commander. Yes, you will note in this uh, mod that your knights are way more powerful and important to the battle uh, because your knights are supernatural creatures to the point where they will likely be the last one standing on the field. So, it is well worth your time to get knight effectiveness buffs. Well worth your time. To the point where if you're not, like, you're going to get left behind. Gotcha. Okay, so I, I went ahead and made an accol accolade. I think it's probably a good idea. I usually don't mess with that stuff, but just because it's so much micro. But I figured if knights matter that much, probably ought to. They do matter that much. Michael Scott! <laughs> I am his major of mathematics. Cool. Ooh, I don't recognize him as a cultist. Ooh, I have a fellow vampire in my prison now. Um, oh, but she's a ruler, so the only thing I could do is offer peace, or I could ransom her and then. Just win the war anyways. Is it worth 63 gold? What's my war score? Yeah, whatever. I'll just press my claim. I also do have my mother in prison now. Um, hmm. Interesting. Did I blood bond my mother? <laughs> is, is that weird? Clay has to tell me if that's weird before I do it. I mean, it's not really your mother. It's a relationship. Yeah, sure, I mean, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's your sire. That's true. All right, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Ooh. This werewolf can most certainly be... Now, maybe. Oh no. Ah, so control is the tax that demons pay to upgrade their shit. 
Oh, maybe not entirely. One thing to note when you're a vampire and you're holding control of a city, they have a lot of ways to drain development and not a lot of ways to improve it. Keep an eye on them. That makes sense. Yeah, you can't choose the job for sure. I tried that right away and I was like, nope. Honestly, your stewardship's pretty useless. All I can do is uh, collect taxes. And it looks like if you um, if you do get your certain dynasty perks, you can um, uh, use the like increase development jobs and stuff. But yeah, get it up. Frickin' mortals. Ooh, that was a hurry. Oh well. Oh fuck, we're losing. Being raided by a vampire, and I can't take the field. Of course, I'm an earthbound demon. Shit. Nice. I can set the colors for my clothing and every clo and everyone in my house. Amazing. <laughs> yep. There should be house colors in the stand of vanilla. <laughs> Indeed. The Feast of Olgast. Yes, the Feast of Olgast. Using the god I'm worshipping. Cannot forget that one. So if you get a chance, go look at the kingdom of Lanka. It's in India. And uh, go um, look at his father. It's a crazy looking demon. Or something. Lanka. Where doth Lanka Wait. be? In India. It's in southern India. Yes, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, staring yeah, yeah. at India at this moment. Ah, Lanka. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and nice. Armed one. <laughs> yeah, his dad is crazy looking. Shimitsi? She's also, a, or he's also a, um, an ancestor of my wife, which is how I found him. Mm. Yes, yes, the Shimitsi are quite the twisted clan indeed. So the clans were all defined on the third generation, I guess? Well, the first generation is K, and the second generation was the three that he embraced after himself. And then the next, the, th the 13 original uh, came from that second uh, second generation. 13 okay. plus. It seems like, okay. And the, but, every, but everybody's clans and stuff, like their, um, their type or whatever uh, is, is is based on those 13, right? Yes, but there's also others that are outside of that default that you'll find, of course. Makes sense. Oh, holy hell. I just looked at decisions. <laughs> Ah. 
First time too late. Sixty-one percent chance to not die. Thirty-eight percent chance to die or lose three hundred fifty prestige. I think the choice is easy. I'm a coward. <laughs> it's not worth thirty-three percent chance to die. I didn't get. I didn't live one hundred and twenty-two years by uh, being brave. That's a spirit. I guess I gotta get raided. Here I, I go, go raiding again. It seems like game mechanics-wise, they um, intentionally nerf the stats a whole bunch on, like, randoms because of the fact that they don't want you to... Like, they want to make the vampires powerful by comparison or something. True. Like, there's no... There's really a lot... There's not a lot of, um... Uh, good counselors available at all. Indeed. Indeed. And whenever you do the like hunt and drinking blood, uh, or whenever you're like looking for a round for hunts, all of the characters have terrible stats. Mm. True. You start with a with a legend seed for Kane. No, at least wait. Oh wow, okay, interesting. <clears throat> I've become a beast! Yay! Apparently making someone a cultist costs way more prestige than I thought. Why? I'm definitely gonna have to try this mod out in single player. I mean, this is fun, um, but I I think uh, this probably would be really fun if you could like fast forward a bunch just because you're immortal yeah it's definitely mm. slower paced than than regular theater right ah i've had a laham Austrian demon. Nice. Uncanny long lived, impervious to pain, and often possessed of inhuman powers. 
demon spawn or laham is said to be a special event of hell. Ooh. One against the uh, Inquisition, too. Counselors are associate. Well, maybe I make her my canonic goodbye and see if we can't have more horrific evil offspring. Yes. Let's get twisted. Ooh, a kinfolk, too. Wolf blooded, but also demon blooded. Is it? Hey, Wardon. Go again. Now I can command my own forces when I possess the body of the person in command. There we go. Twenty nine. Oh, come on, more servitors. Thank you. Damned poem. Ah, uh, help. I don't think it's helping. Uh, uh, think about the lack of this helping over an early lunch. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, my revenge seeking is gonna have to be to compromise on my morals. I need those uh, mass mass fledged vampires. Mm. This is how easy it is. Otherwise, I cannot. Uh, I cannot go to war. Okay. What does it mean, lore-wise, for a character be to, to be in your herd? Holy shit, Rav, your mic just skyrocketed. Sorry. I moved my face further away, so maybe that changed something. I, I've adjusted your volume. As I adjusted all the volume. I don't know what happened, sorry. No problem. Oh, I'm getting my shit pushed in. Go to surrender. Oh, what does it uh, mean lore wise for someone to be in your herd and how can you see your herd? I 
of your herd is like blood bonded to you, I think. So if they're of any, you know, use to you, or if they're elsewhere, you can like use your hooks to bring them in to the fray. But uh, yeah. mainly, mainly your herd is just going to be like mortals, like so. Right, so right. Probably won't be that much help. You guys could keep around to feed on. Just normal vampire stuff. Right. I guess. Yeah, I um, I've made a few, but I just don't know how to see the whole thing. Um, that's kind of what I was trying to figure out, but it's not that big of a deal. It seems like it should be on the relationships tab, just in terms of um like where I would put it, and also uh, the fact that it says I have four relationships, but I can only see one of them, so I don't know. Do you guys have elective, elective secession for your primary title? Uh, uh, yep. Primogeniture, equal. Uh, Is it elective? I have an election. Oh, not not my primary. My, I think my allegiance title. Is elected. Yeah. Oh, okay, but you have a liege. I don't have a liege, though. It's the it's from the it's the human realm. What? You can see the human realm. I, I I'm. I I'm nobody's vassal, but apparently I'm part of a, a, a of a duchy. I gotta figure. I gotta go take a look. And see what uh, you can see. Ugh. Reveal myself to the Vatican. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> I like to take that the idea of like taking that decision while you live in India. <laughs> Good luck, like, vampires I'm over there. Pope, but I'm a vampire. To. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Stutter and paranoia. 
Thank you for the follow. That was loud. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Gotta get those loud follows. Them loud follows, though. Anyhow, uh, I need to grab myself a quick cup of coffee, so I think I will be RB. I don't care that I make a fame penalty. I need to go to war right now. Because otherwise I won't be able to afford to. Somebody called my dick small, and I can either gain 68 stress, 136 stress, or lose 150 prestige. So I guess prestige it God, is. I will God once damn again it. take the coward's way out. God damn it! I married this guy and joined him in the pack because he was he had 19 prowess, and now he's gone and made himself one-legged. Oops! Bastard. I have to find a way to kill him. Resonance XP that I'm gaining from uh, feeding. It doesn't seem to be the same as my lifestyle focus. Or is it? Uh, to what now that you're feeding? Like, whenever it says, like, this year you gained so it's such and such XP from, from automatic feeding. Yeah, Resonance I'm XP. not sure. Don't think it's. It's not the same as the lifestyle. Yeah, that's what it seems like, so that's why I was a little confused by it. Why I can't get special minute arm regiments? It looks like all my neighbors have them. Not even not all my neighbors. Not not even like the um, vampires or stuff like that. No, I can't. I can't make ghouls or anything. Uh, the only minute arms I can get are the regular ones. Strange. Yeah. I don't do you have, know. A, do you have any trait that would 
uh, prevent you from doing well, anything like that? The only thing I'm thinking is that I am part of the Road of Heaven faith, uh, or like like a faith um, uh, category, meaning that like theoretically I'm a good vampire. So that's probably why. Maybe. Might have something to do with. Probably why I can't hire like an army of ghouls to do my bidding. But sure is convenient. Because that means I'm gonna have to fight those every time I move forward. Well, your allies have blood worms. <laughs> Holy hell. And skeletons. Oh, man. Hey, let's hope I win this battle, otherwise I'm fucked. sucks. And apparently I'm all despite the not go my way even though I outnumbered him and I have supernatural units. This fucking yeah. sucks. And I have more advantage. That is bullshit. Good for me that she's on a blood war. Less good for me that the werewolves are declaring war for the same for the same piece of land that I am. Oops. It's never fun.
need to end this war before I go too much into that. I'm already 30 gold down. Okay, I'm back. Hey! Thank you. There are still plagues in this, but, like, do I have to worry about them at all? Um, your mortals in your court might be negatively affected, but you know, unless you're a mortally inclined individual, not really, probably. Nice. Love not getting the plague. Mmm. And then the over lady that I took his wife died. Find someone to steal some faith from. Hacking werewolves, stealing my war score. Oof. Damn, a thirty two year old vampire. Child has to survive the bloody flux to be worth. I think she's got powerful evil Gas be reinstated. What the who? Uh. survived. Good. So it looks like you can upgrade your generation somehow because um, I, I found that the, the, the Baronies of Avalon leader Mithras is fourth generation and so is his dad. Diablery. That is say devouring a vampire of a greater generation or lesser i suppose than you uh you know closer to cain and uh then uh by uh you know then your generation goes up to their level gotcha okay okay cleverly it seems that i can kick werewolf ass nice so it looks like fourth generation is the best you can do unless there's like events to bring back the third generation guys indeed and there are makes sense that there would be Indeed. <laughs> oh, 
Oh crap, my camera. I forgot. There we go. So if I um uh if I'm sixth generation and I make a vampire, they're gonna be seventh, but like if if I played as them and made another one, they'd be eight. Does it end? I'm assuming it must end in the mod just because there's like a maximum number of traits that they could have made. Is there? Well, I mean, in the sense that uh, there must be some limit because they would have had to make an icon for every single one. Right? No, that's true. You mean for generations, right? Yeah, for generations. Yeah, past 14th or 15th gen, uh, you cannot... You can't reproduce anymore as a vampire. Gotcha. And that's like part of the actual lore? Yes. You don't... You don't... You, you, your victim just dies at that point. Looks too thin. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. Not enough electrolytes. Not enough by half. So there probably are like 14th and 15th generation vampires like actually running around by now. Whether they're represented in the game is another question. But like, obviously, if there's 10,000 years since Cain, it would be easy to have 15th generation ones. Indeed. But those wouldn't be like the rules of territories, just because they wouldn't be respected. The traditions. That's what they're called. Okay. I got to battle down to a 1v3 and lost. I had I had one, and they had three, so it was just me fighting, but I figured maybe I could win that. You gotta gamble on those sometimes. Most well, I had more circles going in, but um, they were also quite powerful. Hmm. I kind of got screwed now. That can't break out. I'm thinking about converting to my wife's religion. <laughs> mm. I gotta get those ghouls. I'm gonna do it. Oh uh, no, I need another 878 piety. Well, she's a member of my coterie, so I think it's time to go on a pilgrimage. Mordial Sin Dragon, what? Here we go on a pilgrimage. Me and my 4,009 year old friend, Eater. <laughs> He's Eater of Eater Dynasty. I had to lose like 400 prestige to get him, but, um, you know, it, uh, 
seemed worth it. Oh dear, I gave it to my rage. Keep me your blood high is a good way to avoid that. And your stress low. Yeah, my stress was uh my stress went over the edge because I allowed a mad creature to talk to me instead of all of my traveling companions. Oh. And they would have gained like a bunch of stress, uh, and probably all died. Um <laughs> so I figured it was worth taking the hit. Uh, no doubt. Shit. See, you can ghoul someone for me. Um, I cannot. I legally cannot ghoul because of my religion. Oh. So Damn your eyes. Thing about changing. I see. You're just too ethical. Yeah. He looks goats. Decide to be a rabbi in the vampire game. <laughs> well, not for long. We'll see what happens here. We'll see. I'm gonna try see. to um, uh, let my um, to become my uh, bride wife's religion and go from there. Bosh. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Does it actually matter at all that I become wounded apart from the other penalties? Like, the health penalty doesn't affect me, right? Um, the health penalty, I mean, it will, but I'm not really, though. Not really, actually, no. Since not unless what's... you're completely effed up. Since Clay is back, what the fuck is resonance XP? That's the, uh, each of your disciplines have a different type of resonance associated with them, as Mortal Blood does as well. So if you feed on more types of certain resonances, it will give you more experience points in the disciplines that you that that resonance is keyed to so you could be farming xp in your herd off of something you don't necessarily use in which case you might want to angle to get that discipline a discipline in that tree someday or uh you might want to angle for mortals that have the re resonances that you want and then herd them okay. sure embrace it and is that uh, the learn new abilities thing yes gotcha
there's so many freaking things to pick from. Yeah, there is a lot going on here. Kana for gold, that sounds like a good start. Gotta frickin' find some mortals to scare. Yeah, I think same. I'm on a journey and a pilgrimage, but somehow I still find time to hunt in my capital. I have no idea how demon mechanics work, really. I'm just kind of stumbling in the dark here. Shit, I need more dread. I need more cultists. Uh oh, the poles are becoming Silesian. Have you been working on revenants that fast? Are you talking about me? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's you can't obviously. A different vampire. <clears throat> Wait, that's your wife. Your wife yeah. has the revenant family. She has a revenant family. What does that mean? It means that. She has bred ghouls to the point where they have inborn Canaanite blood inside of them when they reproduce. They've been ghouls so long in the family, they now are just born with vampire blood in them. Yeah. And they and become, obviously, tools of the vampires that have dominated them, usually. How'd you find out that she has that? That, uh, the, 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 the combination of, uh, the, the Polish thing that just happened there. The Polish culture thing clicked on that oh, character that and it was, with, um, it was a revenant. With revenants? Oh, the guy's a revenant. I didn't even see that. Yeah. So yeah, it's a thing. Interesting. I'll just eat. Leave me alone, I'm eating. I'm gorging myself. Blech. Well, I need to get her to teach me her ghoulish ways. Mm. Oh, holy hell, look at the, the leader of Polania. He's, um, having a fun time over there. He's my neighbor. <laughs> oh. Ah, Yaroslavish. Monster among monsters. I'm familiar with that asshole. Powerful old puke. Look for him. A Shimizu classic. I could tempt a vampire. Called the Flesh Terror. I like that idea. I should start recruiting vampires and stuff. They would be good pawns for my schemes. <clears throat> I'm breaking. Hang on, I'm at war. Ah, oh, goddamn it! It's that red guy. He declared war on me. Fuck him. Uh oh. Uh, between me and my wife, we still don't have enough. Gotta hire some good mercenaries. I want to go into debt. I can get almost as many men as him. Probably worth it. 
Let's do it. Fuck, I gotta shape shift. Oh, fuck. Now I know. That, this is gonna be rough. Are you guys good to unpause? Yep. Yeah. Jelly yeah. form, go. Oh, another beast. Another. Another. New offspring for us. Yo, you mean not my chief? Just uh, playing a bit more of the old CK3 here. Look, I'm a demon. Good times. I am. Yeah. For this, still down for some Valheim if you are. Ah. I hope your day's doing well. One demon. Yeah, damn, we're gonna get rolled. I guess I'll just surrender. That's what I've done once already. And go. This game is um kind of like it is a little bit imbalanced compared to normal CK3 just because you can't uh, wait on somebody to die and therefore lose land and what have you. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta be more proactive. Yeah. Waiting things out is not in your cards. Well, at least I give even my guy a good role play reason to uh, change to his white spade because he, he sees his current one as weak now. Kind of fucked because I'm surrounded by massive armies of werewolves on all sides. Yeah, that's rough. How the hell these guns have so many levies? Ugh. That sounds like a uh, unpleasant uh, friggin' time uh, there, Yumi. Well, hopefully the memory of that will be as washed away as hopefully the gasoline is. Well, not too long. Shower time indeed, shower time indeed. Enjoy. Oh yeah, it'll be a little bit of time before Valheim. It'll be a little time. How much longer y'all want to go? Um, I would say not too much longer, but... Yeah, it's I'm getting close to, to 1 a.m., so whenever you... Whenever y'all want to call it, I'm good. Yeah, same. Let me see if I can convert my wife's face. Yeah, no, I'm still missing seven or eight, five. Um, how long is this goddamn pilgrim chain go on? Okay, it just finished. Um, I bet you guys, are you good if I get home from the pilgrimage first before we think, uh, see, uh, and then I can see if I can convert my wife's face or not? Sure. Fine with me. Travel should only take, like, I don't know, um, probably a month or two. I just gotta sail over to Greece and then walk all the way to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good times. That will take too long. Interesting. We got a war demon under me. Hmm. Pick this, eh? Ooh. Find out the true names at a cost of a great deal of piety. The quest I have, I'm sure. All right, I think I went too hard. I need to destroy that. Really. Have you guys tried the steel gold option yet? Yeah, I'm working on one and I have in other games. The what's now? I'm gonna go on a fun little heist. If you right click on somebody, you can steal gold. I am. Cool. Yes, please. Becoming something of a warrior. Uh oh, incoming. Oh shit, I'm fucked. Oh no. Sins other. Ooh. Did you get a county conquer or something? Huh? Why do you say you're fucked? Oh, it's uh well oh never mind. Fine actually. Hmm. Egg. Uh. Oh, we won. Nice.
はいWell, Sin, let's see if you're merciful. Who's immortal? Maybe I can tempt this. Alright, I'm back home and I still don't have enough uh, to adopt my wife's face, so I'm ready to stop whenever. Are you good, Clay? Yeah. We just embrace this. Fun. Indeed. Oh. All right, I'm gonna pause it and let's go ahead and save, huh? Yep. Yes, indeed. All right. I'll see you all next well, week. I will see you guys next week. Yes. Until then, y'all. Bye. And that's going to be it for me this week. Thank you all for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe over on YouTube. Leave a follow here on Twitch. I will see you all next week.